Hey, Zayman, no, no. We got you a brand new slide. We got our slide. Want to check it out? Look at here. We come in the mail today. Climb up on the couch here, <laughs> and then you can sit on top of it, and you can slide down. Say, say woo -hoo! Look at that. That is a slide. Then you, then you climb over, climb up the couch, hop on. You ready? Let's open it and see what's inside. Well, opened up the door, and here's what is sitting outside. Now, what you're looking at is the Montezuma XL 450-R23. It does come with a five-year limited warranty. This is going to be the 36 by 17 inch, and of course, it's Montezuma's trademark triangle toolbox. These things are built tough, they stay organized, and it's easy to glance over and get what you need. It goes over some of the specs here on the back of the box. The triangle lid design, weather-resistant seal, gas strut, the two-point locking system with key-coated locks. It's made from 16-gauge steel and fully welded construction, equipped with a bulk storage area, and a UV-resistant powder coat paint. Want us to go over here, you could pause and check out some of the other specifications as we go. All right, Bristol, I think it's time to unbox this thing. What do you think? Yes! Let's do it. Now, I'm gonna let you help me out since you're the one who has your own toolbox and you help me out anytime I need to fix something. So go ahead and pull the top off of this. What do you think about it so far? It's amazing! All you gotta do is reach down there, pull back on that latch, and pop the lid. Do got a few things inside the box here, like the carrying handle, so we're going to have to put all that stuff together. You going to help me out with that? Yes. All right, let's get everything out of the packages and get it put together. First thing we'll put on is them two carrying handles, which you're opening up right there. Can you get it open? Yeah. Okay, I'll help you out. All right, so we got it open. Go ahead and pull them out of the package there. All right, now show me what they look like. We got screws to put them in with. Got your tools with you? Yes. We're going to need a Phillips number two screwdriver. You think you got that in there? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you got one right there. All right, do you see where it goes to on the side? Got four different holes, four different screws, right? Yep. Right now you got your screws in, you just gotta run them in and tighten it up. Ratty tatty, turn them to the right. Same way the clock moves. Got them nice and tight now? Yeah. All right. Do we have the keys up here by the cylinder? Let me check them. Absolutely. All right, now check this out. These in the back, most of the time people hang your wrenches on them. You can hang wrenches here. Then you hang your half inch drive sockets, your three eighths drive sockets. Then you got your quarter inch drive down there. You can hang stuff like this. Yep. Try one of your wrenches out. What size do you got there? Nine sixteenths. That one will probably go more through here. Here? Yep. You take your box in and you put it on it. Swing it over, over top of those. And voila, hangs there. Here, you got different size holes for things like screwdrivers. Now take one of yours. Try one of the bigger holes. See? Right there's where they go. You can also put breaker bars and ratchets, extensions, things like that. And down here, you got like a little storage compartment for your power tools, like a quarter inch impact driver. The thing I'm wondering about though, is where does the pliers go? I got all kinds of pliers and nowhere to put them besides that little box there. And that's an awful big foam pad to lay down to make sure we don't scratch anything up. I wonder where we're gonna put that at. Before we unwrap it though, grab this right here and pull up on it. Oh, I think I know where that thing's gonna go. See? Right there is where you can put your pliers and other tools at. And right there is where we can put our pad. That way when you're working, all your sockets are sitting here on top. It's got them two gas cylinders right there that holds it up nice and strong. Right, that's where that one goes. And they got little cuts in them. That way it goes right around those. It keeps everything nice and secure in the bottom of the box without sliding around or scratching it up. Plus they already got this one cut and ready to go over here, don't they? Yep. You know when you have your tools in a toolbox? Mm-hmm. You really need those tools. <laughs> so what if you like just grab one of your toolboxes and then just slide them back here? It's a good idea though. If it can hold a little toolbox in it. Now the next thing we're gonna have to do is get all this stuff together and I'm gonna have to figure out where I want to put it at. And then we're gonna put some tools in it. What do you think? Yeah. So until Dad gets ready to put all the tools in it, I think we're going to clean some things up here. And I'm going to go over some of the specifications for the viewers. And then we're going to get it loaded up. In the meantime, what should everybody do? Off the 
click and subscribe and check out these social media platforms. Now, whenever I received this thing via UPS, let me tell you something, it was packaged really well. The cardboard was an inch and a quarter thick. On top of that, this is a well-built heavy-duty toolbox, and that's something we will take a closer look at in the near future. For all intents and purposes, this was an unboxing mail call video. In order for me to get everything set up, I need to put it where I want it at, and I need to get some tools in it. That's when we will revisit the toolbox, and I will show you everything in full detail. I know some automotive mechanics who actually use the Montezuma Triangle Toolbox, but most of the places that I've ever seen these toolboxes are in a variety of locations, like farms. There's a lot of farms here in the backwoods of the Bluegrass State, and there's a lot of Montezuma toolboxes on those farms. I know a lot of fleet technicians, field service technicians, and these toolboxes do everything that they need them to do, so I'm going to be curious to see how well the tools will fit inside this toolbox versus some other ones. One thing's for sure, my little daughter likes it because it makes for a pretty good slide at her age. My other daughter loves it because she likes going out here and wrenching with her old man. Now with this toolbox, I'm also expecting a Milwaukee half-inch drill. I haven't received it in the mail yet. Hopefully it'll be here soon and we'll check that out as well. The labor of love is going to pay off because I tell you what, I absolutely love what I see so far. My first impressions of this toolbox and everything in between, like I said, we will go over in a future video coming up soon. Until then, I would like to hear from you. If you've got this particular model Montezuma toolbox or if you've got another model Montezuma toolbox, why don't you comment down below. Tell us your thoughts and opinions on it, what you think about it from your perspective. What trade are you in? Are you a professional tradesman, a farmer, a fleet tech, a DIYer? Just let us know down below. I was actually thinking to myself before I make the follow-up video where I cover everything involved in this toolbox, I might actually go out here and buy me some brand new tools to put in this toolbox. So stay tuned to the channel because that's going to be coming up. But until next time, I appreciate all of you for watching. Big shout out to Montezuma. But now it's time that I get some tools for this box and get to doing that blue-collar hustle.